All right. Good evening po sa lahat mga kabayan. It is currently 7.24 here at night. Although you can barely tell, it is a Sherwood Park. Kasi maliwanag pa langit even though maulap na naman. So that means uh, malamang ulan na naman this week. Um, so once again guys, this is Jerry Domingo, Finance Manager, part ng Phil Khan Car, a division of Sherwood Park Mazda, based here in Sherwood Park, Alberta. So tonight we're gonna do a special Facebook Live video. Uh, ito yung special na request ng kliyente ko na si JM from Saskatchewan. Um, JM is looking to replace yung luma niyang sasakyan uh, na marami na rin problema at uh, get himself into something newer at mas baba interest rate. Now, the main thing with him is uh, very specific sa request niya. He wanted uh, a specific year ng, ng Toyota Corolla. And I asked him why and he said based on sa research niya, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-best when it comes to quality. So, this car actually brings back a lot of memories for me, guys. When I used to work sa Toyota dati, uh, the Corolla was actually my first company car. So, eventually, nakadrive din ako ng RAV4, Highland, as my uh, company cars before pero dito ako talaga nagtagal sa, sa Corolla dahil uh, mainly nagustuhan ko yung headlights niya kumpara sa Camry no? so I wanna do a quick video uh, for JM kasi I told him I believe I found the right vehicle for you na let's get rid of that 2013 you know um, mistake ika nga and get you into the car na you want so once uh, guys um, ito po ay isang 2016 Toyota Corolla S so let's do a quick walk around ng asakyan so as you can see here, the main difference ng S sa mga ibang uh, trim levels ng Corolla uh, in the previous years, no, 14, 15, 16, kasi similar ang body styles nila, is yung S, meron siyang ito, itong um, parang chrome na lining sa harapan. Iba rin yung, ano niya, yung sa grill niya dito, yung design niya. It's meant to make the Corolla sportier, so that's there. Um, as you can see, this is actually one of my favorite parts ng Corolla, guys. Kung nagko-consider kayo ng Corolla, uh, I definitely suggest, um, oh sorry, between the, the Corolla and Camry, no? uh, I actually would pick the Corolla just for the headlights alone. So the headlights niya is actually white. So white light na LED ang headlights nito, uh, na hindi mo usually may hitang pangkaraniwan sa mga sasakyan sa price point ng Toyota Corolla. So that's a big, big plus, especially if you're driving outside of town, uh, through small towns and all that stuff, right? That's a great visibility kumpara sa mga luma na yellow lights, like for example, the Camry and all that stuff. Another good feature this thing has, it has yung fog lamps, right? Again, some extra nice features for when you're driving out of town. JM is from Saskatchewan, so definitely kakailanganin yan. Also, want to point out, you know guys, I always talk to you guys about pagkibili ka ng used minsan yung previous owners so would put something extra. So the previous owner actually had a black heater installed. So JM, as I told you before, that part of Saskatchewan, kung nasan ka, nag-deliver na ako dyan dati, alam kong gaano kalamig dyan. I was there before, it was like negative 28, negative 30, parang dito rin sa Alberta. So kakailanganin mo to and the good thing is the previous owner actually put the black heater na. So that's always a good thing. So. Let's continue our walk around ng asakyan. One thing that's also nice with this Corolla S is yung kanyang turn signal lights, right? So extra visibility. At the same time, it make it helps make the vehicle look sharp compared to my asakyan. So, talking about bonuses from the previous owner, JM, if you notice something different with this car, the windows are tinted na. So that's five window limo tint. That's something the previous owner put there. So meron ng 5 window limo tint Dito kayo sa Alberta, ang tint namin allowed lang dito sa 5 window So when you say uh, 5 window limo tint, you're actually talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Dito sa Alberta kasi, pag galing sa dealership, hindi pwede maglagay ng tint dito You can definitely put the tint yourself, right? Kung gusto mo malagyan ng tint yung front windows mo Pero hindi kasi kami legally allowed to do that dito sa Alberta But the fact is, this whole, this whole tint job, right? That would have been an extra $300, $400. You don't have to pay for that because the previous owner put that in for us already. Right? So it's almost like the previous owner knew na yung magda-drive nitong asakyan nito ay may yung bata. Right? Or younger guy. Right? So that's always nice to have. I like that. This actually helps a lot, guys. Yung limo tint sa, sa likod sa window. Especially kung sa Alberta kasi sa, sa Saskatchewan ka nagda-drive. Bakit? Kasi yung mga truck my god, yung mga naglalakihan truck dito sa Alberta at sa Saskatchewan pag naka-online ka nilang mga, ano, mga headlights nila lalo mga lifted nakakabulag kahit nasa likod this is actually a very nice feature to have so good on that, JM so let's look inside here JM has the leather trim sa kanyang interior as you can see there, very nice leather 
leather tong parting to, right? There's some cloth parts. This is a cloth part here, but otherwise it's leather. And look, it's actually very clean yung interior niya. But you guys see yung tint yung effect ng tint niya. I'm not sure if you can see it from here. You probably can't, pero as you can see, there's very nice. Another thing the previous owner left JM, yung kanyang rubber mats. So, that's one thing I like about Toyota, kung bibili ka ng Toyota. For any other brand, kung gusto mo ng rubber mats nila, it's an extra 150-200. Pag sa Toyota dati, yung nagbibenta pa ako ng Toyota, brand new na Toyota, laging kasama yung mats. So, the previous owner was nice enough to leave that for us here. Let's go here naman sa front. So, as you can see, the mats are also there. You got the nice leather seats. Right? It looks very nice, very sporty actually. Let's go inside. So, this is one of the things, nung bago pa lang ako sa industriya, long time ago, mga 2014 and all that stuff na mga models na nasakyan. Kasi before, a little, little back story, no? so you know, you would always have people comparing different models. Uh, one, of the big, the, one of the big selling points ng Toyota Corolla is the fact na meron siyang touchscreen na Bluetooth, right? Which actually nasa LE model ng Toyota, pero kung titingin ka for example, Nissan, Tsaka Mitsubishi, yung kanilang Lancer, tsaka yung kanilang Sentra If you go sa S nila na model, yung base model nila Wala siyang backup camera So this is actually, not the S model Pero one of the biggest selling points doon no, Sa Toyota pa ako, was the backup camera and the touchscreen Kasi this makes life a lot easier, JM Kumpara yung mag-Bluetooth ka, tapos voice command pa Ang kalaya mo, hindi mapasok ka sa sasakyan Sabihin mo, you know, um, tawag daw Yung connect phone, yung mga ganun um, wala kang mayiging problema dito Everything will connect automatically Basta naka-on yung Bluetooth mo Naka-set up sa kotse It will connect automatically So as you can see there You have heated seats For the driver and passenger USB plug over here Auxiliary cable plug Con Temperature controls more here Right? So meron kang backup camera din Glove box the manual is still here from the previous owner. It's very nice. You got your leather wrapped steering wheel. You got your Bluetooth controls the steering wheel then. Right? Then ang yung uh, odometer and yung uh, kilometer, sorry, not it's kilometers, but yung ano yung temperature outside. So as you can see there, 69,368 is actually really good kilometers for a Toyota Corolla. And of course, as you guys know, the, the vehicle itself is a four-cylinder, uh, 1.8 liter engine. So it's very good on gas. So kung malayo ang biyahe mo at uh, you're looking for fuel economy, definitely look at the uh, the Corolla and uh, the Master 3. Because those are the ones that I believe are, are really good when it comes to fuel consumption. And I've driven all of them. I've driven the Sentra, I've driven the, the, the Impreza, I've driven... Yung um, tawag dito Honda Civic, right? So, those are just suggestions there Cruise control mode would be here JM Right? Middle console is here Not much to say there Oops, apart man Let's pop yung hood so You can see the engine Yes, that's right, 1.8 liter running on a timing chain which uh, helps uh, helps you later on. Hindi mo na kailangan magpalit ng timing belt. Naka timing chain siya. Thanks, Peter. So yan, JM, as you can see. Ngayon yung makina niya. As you can see, malinis. Malinis na malinis po yung sakyan. So you can tell it's not, it hasn't been compromised. Walang problema. Hood's clean. Engine is clean. Right? Yeah. And I think there's not really much else to say about the car, you know? It looks really, you know... It looks really good, right? Looks really good. Um, has all the modern features that you could look for, and pasok sa budget mo JM what you were looking at. So there you go. Congratulations. Thank you so much for putting your trust in me. Um, really happy na tulungan kita na makuhang sa kinato, right? Na walang hassle, walang down payment, walang co-signer, right? So I'm very happy for you. Um, otherwise. There you go, mga kabayan, ito po ay isang 2016 Toyota Corolla S. Uh, congratulations, JM. I will see you in Saskatchewan next week. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much. Uh, kung kayo po interesado sa kaitong klaseng nasakyan or sa kahit anong klaseng nasakyan for that matter, mag-message lang po kayo sa akin sa Facebook sa Pinoy Car Loans Canada. Once again, guys, this is Jerry Domingo, uh, Finance Manager, part ng Philcan Car, a division of Sherwood Park Mazda, based here sa Sherwood Park, Alberta. And... 
owner ng Pinoy Car Loans Canada on Facebook and JM, ito na ang inyong 2016 Toyota Corolla S.